everybody. Um, got to keep your noise down a little bit because we've got a lorry driver asleep in the yard. As you can see, it's a bit dark. Um, I don't know how much of this you're going to see, but a little update. Sorry about that. A little bit of an update. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm moving out and walking over to where the sheep are. We had a nice weekend away in the Lake District, sorting the video out. Got quite a bit of footage, but I'm probably not going to upload all of it um, because there is a lot, a lot, a lot of it. I didn't realise how much filming I actually did. Um, most of it is just driving, so I won't probably upload a lot of it. Um, on the way back, we're about three and a half hours away from home. We were just above Birmingham, I think we were, um, on the M6. I uh, got a phone call from Dad saying that we had lambs. So, as you can now see, there's three pens. So we are a bit sort of... Well, came out of the blue really. I didn't expect that. I thought Dad sent me a text saying that, oh, you're lambing. Thinking I was joking as we're coming home. I don't know what bird that is. There's something squawking away. Um, so, yeah, got text message and I thought, ah, oh, that's nothing. So, Chloe rang him up and, yeah, these two popped out. So, we race back as quick as we can. And. We shouldn't be lambing. Chloe actually found out the right timings and first lamb should be in two weeks time. So we are lambing two weeks earlier than I thought. Well, and with what was planned. And it's actually about um, three weeks, uh, three, four weeks earlier than I thought because I must have got my dates wrong or something. Um, so we had these two here and we also had another one, but the lamb died that one did um which is a shame but we've got these two here which were born on the sunday which was the day we were coming back and then today we had these two born which are the third ute lamb and then we also had this set of twins as well and um, both of these that were born today were one female one male lamb as you can see they've got like little um, see-through plastic bags on them and um, we brought these little coats um, what we did is we let the mum lick all the um, afterbirth off of them so they were nice and dry and sort of let them sit under the heat lamp for a little bit and then we put these coats on them and the first year we tried it but it is surprising how much more heat they have got in between that layer of plastic and their body they're not too tight they're big and baggy on them and them being under their heat lamps, I think the air is in is sort of acting a bit like a greenhouse, and it's actually keeping them a lot warmer. Um, I'm going to do a proper video on the sheep tomorrow, probably in the daylight. I've just come out to check the ewes one more time before I go to bed. I think it's about coming up to twelve now. Probably about half eleven. Just got out of the bath, so I thought I'd come and check them before bed. Um, so yeah, we sort of had a bit of a big old shock as we've come back off holiday so um yeah i'm just gonna go plug the light in and check the ewes but yeah um sorry it's a bit of a dark video um, i don't know how good this camera actually is in low light um still haven't used it that much i'm gonna do another proper video tomorrow of the sheep um, probably see a little bit more now. Um, sheep are all looking okay. Um, you've seen the layout we've done this year. I think I've shown you. I think. If not, I'll have a look back tonight. And if I haven't, I'll do a proper walk around our lambing pens. Hang on, I'm just going to jump up on this bow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, not got a lot of light around here at the moment um, so it does make it a bit more interesting she's alright 
She alright? Yeah, she's alright. Yeah, she's alright. There's none looking out of the ordinary tonight. But yeah, I had um my Naroso meeting this morning. So well, if we're front here, it's a spray. Sorry, I'm coming back down the bail. Um, we had a Neurosa, me and Dad had our um, Frontier meeting, which we get 10 Neurosa points for, um, so you can't really miss out on it. Um, I sort of come quickly, ran across, filled their water up this morning before Chloe came out to the sheep. I came out about seven o'clock. Um, and um, sort of had a little look round, but one of the ewes had already lambed by that point and I didn't see them. They must have been hiding. So I just quickly filled their water up and we went off. Um, yeah, so she had a busy day today sorting out sheep and then the second ewe lambed and she actually had to help that one. Um, both lambs had one leg back, so they weren't going to come out, so she had to help. And they're nice, good, strong lambs. And it just seems to be weird that we're already lambing. Um, I'm going to do a proper video tomorrow, like I said. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little update. I'll upload my Lake District video next, um, after I've edited that and sort of sorted through all the stuff I've filmed, because there's a lot of a lot, a lot of filming that I done that I didn't realise I'd probably done about an hour and a half's worth. So I'm not going to upload all that. So I'll sort of cut out the bits I need to and sort of make it into a nice little video. Um, and we'll be going to Lake District again. Not too soon because we've got our lambing to do, and then I'm sure silage won't be far past that. So we'll have to get another little break away before we start silly season. Um, and yeah, so I will see you again soon, and I. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video.